uh, on which areas would you want us to uh, help you? So I think uh, we need volunteers. We can maybe start with um, with Abu Bakr and then uh, the rest of you could yeah, volunteer into that. So yeah, Abu Bakr, you can uh, speak up and also good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. So uh, on the application material part, so I, I, I didn't actually finish the cover letter part. So maybe maybe try to go through the career uh, document. So probably there is also a session. I think I think I mostly um like eighty percent there. So on the uh, on the portfolio site, for example, the Google site on on the portfolio site, I. I got a uh, feedback from Margaret and fixed some of them. So I, I, I will probably finish them, finish all of them today. Also on in the slides or, or the Google Google Sites page, there is a section called projects. So I think those were to detail out. I think I forgot to add those. So those were the details to add on the project. So I'll be adding those sites. So yeah, all in all, yeah. So I, I am actually, I just 90% uh, finished on the CV part on my third CV, my iterations, based on the feedbacks, of course. So yeah, almost that's five, three CVs uh, and, uh, and the all of the others thank you okay okay great so you're not waiting for any uh, feedbacks from our site it's just you just want to work on your materials right uh yeah yeah if i have a question i will i will forward on the career group so yes i have got some feedbacks from margaret I will finish them today. Okay. Okay. Great. That's really good. Um, and also, how was your call uh, with Jack? Uh, is it happening today or was it uh, yesterday? Okay. So, I I is tomorrow. Tomorrow, July twenty fifth. So we'll have the interview. So I'm 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 researching on. Uh, their company so as i mentioned uh, in the group there is limited information so i'm trying to make sense of it all yeah okay okay great that's really good and always always remember this is for everyone please make sure to share any good news you have to the on the uh sjs month one channel so that you know it will also motivate uh all of us as well so yeah that's good that's great so next we have uh Yerusalem, then Teodros. um guys we need uh volunteers uh why is everyone silent today <clears throat> okay. okay great um we can okay hillary you can speak up and then we can go to your and Teodros. Okay, good morning everyone. I yesterday I received uh, I'm I'm feeling good first of all uh, that um, I'm doing that and uh yesterday I received feedbacks from Mariam and Margaret on uh, LinkedIn and port uh, portfolio uh, portfolio sites now. Well. In the portfolio um, I I started working on today the the projects uh, adding more projects on the on the projects. Uh, page of the portfolio and on um, the LinkedIn I'm um, trying to add more projects and uh, try to get recommendations as I was advised as and suggested and also I I also received the same uh, yeah, uh, interview invitation and um, tomorrow is happening so um, I'm also 
I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, so thank you. Okay, okay, great. So which application materials do you think are like fully ready? And if not, uh, is there anything we can help you uh, from our site? The material fully ready uh, uh, is the um, CV. Uh, the CV is fully ready and um, Medium and GitHub are still working on them. And we are told you we are expecting another tutorial to be taken through again to meet the standards. But it's CV for now. And LinkedIn is up to par. It's just adding the project is also ready as well. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely the projects are, you know, uh, the main um, things you need to add, uh, definitely. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind as well. So yeah, I think uh, good luck on your interview or uh, chat, I would say. And yeah, that's great. That's really good. So uh, you're not waiting for any feedback or uh, like a review from our team on your materials not yet i actually saw it i saw the feedbacks yesterday late evening and i work i'm starting i started working on them today morning so i'll i'll update uh for when i'm done with the modifications to get uh, for another feedback Okay, okay, great. That's good. So next we have um, Abram. Abram, can you speak up? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, about the about the care materials. Yeah, I've also received feedback from our very thing Miriam. I was working on it this morning, and I was told that I also have to record the video. I think I have to. Uh, shoot that video in a uh, new time. So, uh, about the application materials, yes, I'm preparing and I'm iterating them more. Like, and I'm working on it. Like, and I'm including most of my projects and uh, yeah, and others. And yeah, and I'm feeling good for, for this week. Okay, okay, great. So, your CV is ready. Um, everything is ready. So, uh, what do you mean by uh, your application materials are are good? Ah, yes, yes, my CV and my websites so, or my portfolio websites. It's good, but like I think there's always a room for improvement, and I think uh, yeah, I will improve uh, some aspects of it. Like, and also, okay. yeah, uh, yeah, Margaret gave me some comments about. I should improve my my experience on the on the on the on my portfolio side. Yeah, I think I should improve. I should work on that. Okay, that's great. That's really good. Uh, just make sure to address the comments as soon as possible, uh, as much as much as you can, so that you know we will have all the application materials ready. Um, yeah, and also one thing I forgot, are you also updating your, uh, like your track choice, your materials and other details on the Notion database as well? Yes, I was the first one actually to do that. Okay, amazing. That's good. That's really good. So yeah, next we can have, um, I will prioritize volunteers, Sheila. Yeah, Sheila, you can speak up. Hi, good morning. So uh, I'll start with how I'm doing. I'm doing okay. I'm doing great. I'm fine. Um, the next question was about how the how the how I feel the sessions have been. I really enjoyed yesterday's session with Pascaline about the company search, and immediately after I embarked on the assignment, which I found very interesting because it was something I had not quite thought of completely, like the benefits and all that, so I took my time on it, and I managed to submit what I managed to submit. Then um, after that, um, I also went and tried to like look for more beneficial connections on LinkedIn. So I looked for um, people who 
were around like in Kenya who had who are interested okay who have been in the field of generative AI and then I also outsourced um, to different places and I also looked for people who had been at 10 Academy so and I sent connection invites and then after yeah after after that um, or today in the morning I received a comment I had received a comment earlier was it earlier last week yeah, earlier last week about my CV and I worked on it and I fixed it. So I'm still waiting for feedback on that. And then today I received um, a comment on my LinkedIn and that's what I want to work on. So my the material that is ready right now is my CV so far because I haven't received any further comments or feedback from about that. And um, my portfolio as well, because I haven't been able to like add my projects because I'm still not confident about them. So I'm still working on them. And uh, yeah, my GitHub and now my LinkedIn, like I'm going to work on my LinkedIn according to the comments have been given by Maria. So yeah, that's it. Okay, that's good. That's really great. And yes, the company study uh, tutorial was uh, really interesting. Um, Pascaline put it together for you guys. So thank you, Pascaline. I hope you see the call. I, if not, I will make sure to tell her. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really good. And also for your projects, I, I mean, I suggest if you just put it on your profile and then uh, maybe you can keep on like iterating it like as you go because I don't think it can like be fully perfect. I don't know, I'm not a technical person, but um this is what i would suggest so yeah and also for uh the comments you're waiting from our team uh margaret and Miriam will make sure to address it as well and yeah and also please please uh make sure to be active on your like specific uh careers group as well we will make sure to um get back to you as soon as possible uh yeah so yeah please don't don't even worry about asking you know a silly question it could be like uh the easiest question uh that you could find but yeah uh we're very happy to answer so please make sure to forward any questions you have um on your career uh, group so yeah uh yeah that's good that's great and also are you updating your uh application materials on the notion database as well yeah i i did that yesterday so, yes okay okay that's great that's good so next we have um hanok uh, hanok then thomas can hanok can you speak up okay uh good morning uh I, I wanted to ask uh, Hillary like uh, a few questions. Hillary, if you're here, uh, that would be great. Okay, uh, like like where where did you apply? I wanted to ask you on that. Like which site did you apply on? Is it on LinkedIn or uh, where did you apply? And like what is uh, your track? What what track did you choose? And uh, what kind of company did you apply for? Like uh, a remote company, a local company, or uh, like in-person company? Okay. Um, so I, I I I didn't apply, but I think I got a recommendation, and. Uh, I, th I think I think a recommendation from uh, I think Rada or one of uh, the yeah I think Rada sent the recommend uh, it, uh, the companies I think Chris Buzz that uh, didn't mention the company but I did use probably from the email so it's I guess it's from also also from a it's also a company in the United States and my role is general role. Uh, is generative AI engineer so uh, th th that's that's the information uh, what I can say about that okay thanks yeah so um some 
some of our partners, I'd say not really like we don't really have like partners that are like ready to employ, but some of our connections or like friends uh, the, that Yababa and Darun has usually ask for, not usually, sometimes ask for trainees who did well on like specific challenges. So uh, we sometimes share them, uh, your contacts. So you might get recommendations and I mean, we don't really rely on them. So yeah, I mean, that's good. Um, and also, uh, aren't you going to update us, Henok, on your, uh, yeah, on the questions? Uh, okay. Uh, what were the questions? I'm sorry. I have pinned it on the uh, on the comment section and also, okay, I can also read it for you. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling about the materials or tutorials uh, being shared uh, on the job search week? Uh, which of your application materials do you think is fully ready? And if not, are you waiting for any feedback or review uh, from the team? Uh, okay, so the, the, the tutorials are good. Uh, I think they're very relevant and uh, I think they're applicable. Uh, I think the material that's ready is probably my CV. Uh, that the one that's least ready would probably be my GitHub. I mean, I think I, I would need to structure it like uh, better. I, I did uh, the projects, but I, I don't think my code structure is very good. So maybe I need to restructure that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so are you waiting for any feedback from the team on your CV, on your LinkedIn, uh, or uh, you haven't had any feedback yet? I, I did get a feedback uh, today from Mariam. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, good. That's good. Um, okay, next we have Tamaskan. Tamaskan, you can open up your mic. Hi, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, so, I'm feeling well, good. I'm feeling great. Uh, I wasn't active on the materials or this week, this particular place, that much, but I have attended all the sessions. Uh, uh, for the application materials, I have started working earlier, so I think I have the same uh, label. I am, um, and I, I feel confident about it. I I just need to update my CV. I use the the template, the default template uh, recommended, so I I want to change it. Uh, more better way. Uh, I think uh, I'm confident for my LinkedIn. It has almost all the elements that needed. So, as uh, application material, uh, uh, I'm confident of the GitHub. More or less, it it is fine. I, I just I, I just would like to go through the project uh, that I would like on on that. Connect with the, the generative AI. That is a work in progress, so it is more or less fine. And uh, yeah, I, I finished the most of it, so I am waiting. I have accidentally restricted. I have my portfolio, so I didn't get, get feedback on that. So I now this morning I. Uh, Give the the, the the I lift the restriction, so uh, I'm expecting your feedback on my portfolio, or and uh, I would like feedback on my LinkedIn also. Uh, maybe probably on GitHub. Uh, yeah. So um, that's pretty much, pretty much it. And uh, I have I, I saw a, a LinkedIn post the other day. Uh, so it, uh, I have 
that's the a Google employee. That's it. that was. I have applied for the Google job after uh, introducing the three week programming uh, experience. So just uh, go for it, ap apply, try, do, and then you can improve on that. You can be you can be perfect. So that that's what I'm uh, applying now. I'm starting to do it, to doing then on the progress improving. That's where I am, and I'm feeling good. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Um, thank you, Thomas, and like for the detailed update. It's good that you have already started applying. I mean, that's great. Um, and also, like, how are you feeling about the uh, tutorials that are being shared uh, on the job search week? And also, did you update your um, your um, application materials on the uh, Notion database? Yes, I have updated. I have updated on the Notion database. And uh, yesterday, I told you to meet the deadline. On the yesterday's challenge, so I uh, I submitted this morning, and uh, I feel it is it is good, and I think we need it. Before this, I was applying in a wrong direction, so that it makes sense why I I I, I wasn't I didn't get many uh, replay bugs or email bugs. So I think this uh, support job searching QRs will help us, and I feel I feel good about it. And yeah. Okay, that's good. That's really great. Um, next we have um Jarvis Abdurrahman, and then Abdurrahman. Jarvis, you can open up your mic. Okay. Good morning. Uh, okay, uh, about how I'm, I am feeling, I'm feeling good. Uh, I am trying to update my CV, LinkedIn, my CV, and also LinkedIn, and also my portfolio. I already got um, comments from Mariam and also Pascali, so I'm trying to update uh, the comment. I first used my own uh, CV template, but I think, uh, uh, after rec reconsidering the comments, I think it is better to use the rec recommended template. So I'm using that to update my CV. Um, so I, I think I will uh, I will be ready today. I already I'm finalizing all the um, all the materials. And about the tutorials, I think I'm gaining a, a good understanding on how to proceed in this searching phase so uh, yesterday i was able to uh, research on the companies that were, that were suggested and also i was able to be uh, uh, getting connections with the people that are working on that in, in that company so it is good and i also got an interview i think tomorrow uh, i i am also uh, it's also from uh, recommendation so i'm also preparing for that and that's it. Okay, that's good. That's really great. So, yeah, I mean, I think for the uh, CV template, it's, I, yeah, definitely it's better to use the ones that's recommended by the team because usually the, like, the templates out there, like, it's going to be from Canva or, like, other sites, they usually take up more space uh, not allowing you to, you know, to put in more details, uh, and then just it's it will end up being uh, just bulky, I would say. So uh, it's yeah, it's better to use the ones that's recommended, and yeah, that's great. And I hope uh, your interview will go well. So um, yeah, that's good. So next we have, and also, uh, did you update your uh, your details on the Notion page as well? Yes, I already that's put uh, all the information. Okay, that's great. That's really good. So yeah, 
So next we have uh, Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman, you can speak up. Hello, good morning, everyone. I hope I'm not breaking. Uh, yesterday I uh, was working on the study, uh, common study, and uh, it took me a long time to do it. So I, I need to figure out uh, a way to do it uh, quickly because uh, we will need to do this for uh, many applications. So I need to find a way to make it uh, efficient and quickly. Uh, for the tutorials, uh, I'm learning uh, learning a lot of things. Uh, there is a lot of things new for me, but uh, I think I understand uh, how we can do this uh, phase, uh, SDS. So, um, so I'm happy I'm optimistic. Okay, that's good. That's really great. So did you also update uh, your details on the Notion uh, database? Uh, I updated, but uh, I didn't up, uh, upload my GitHub and CV links because uh, I'm updating them. So after I done, I will upload them. Okay, okay. You can you can put your uh, GitHub profile link. I think I think it's fine. And yeah, you can work on your CV and uh, you can put the final version. Yeah, it's better to do that. And yeah, that's good. Uh, I think next we have uh, Joseph. Um, yes, ma'am. Good morning. So yesterday, um, I worked on the the report. Um, I also worked on the project portfolio. However, it's not complete so far in terms of materials. Um, uh, I don't have any application material ready yet. However, I have received a few um, feedback from uh, Mariam and uh, Pascaline on the careers channel. Um, so I just have a concern in my CV whereby I have a one-year gap uh, in which is related to work experience. So I'm not sure how to fill it. I yet to receive feedback on that. Um, however, I love I love the content. I love the whole approach of the SJS. Yeah, um, that's all. Okay, okay, great. So for the one year gap you have on your CV, uh, you can you can definitely put the work experience. I mean, uh, what what were you doing during, you know, the gap year? Uh, yes, um, I was doing um, a couple of side hustles and also um, a lot of maybe educational uh, stuff, uh, which is not um, work experience that's um consistent with my cv i don't know if i'm uh communicating ah okay okay maybe if it's like related to you know the to the path you're like uh you're trying to go for maybe you can put the um the work experience as maybe as a contract work or something and also you can put in the uh, you know the education uh the you can put it in the education section as well you know uh, i think it would be fine if it's not like if it's not like completely different from what you're trying to work on like if it's something related to i don't know um maybe something completely different it could be if you are trying to be like a doctor <laughs> i mean that's not uh, relevant. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's related. If it's related to the, you know, to the technical side, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's okay to put it on your CV. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Did you also update your details on the Notion database? No, not yet. On the Notion database, yes, I did. Yes. Uh, this is the um, the application the github links and the profiles yeah yeah correct the linkedin yes, the yes. okay yes, that's good that's great okay 
Um, okay, good. So I think we can we can maybe wrap up this session. But before that, uh, do you have any questions, like concerns, comments, anything you'd like to say? Okay, yes, Dr. Raman, you can speak up. Uh, I put a question on the chat box. So if anyone uh, have a strategy that uh, make good for working fast, but efficiently in company study, and give me advice or something. Ah, okay, okay. Um, for now, I don't know. I'm not sure on how to do it. Uh, but any anyone else uh, who has like a tips or tricks you would like to share, and if not, you can also uh, you can also put it on the on the Slack channel on the on the public channel, and also uh, Thomas Gan is saying finish most of the information in LinkedIn. Okay, okay, good. Uh, maybe you can, yeah, maybe we can open a discussion on the Slack channel and you can also ask on your specific careers group, but, but it's better to use the uh, month one channel since, you know, uh, for everyone to, to participate as well. Um, yeah, that's good. So any other, um, any other comments, questions? Okay. Okay, good. So we will have the usual sessions, uh, the tutorial sessions today as well. We will have uh, Abdul Hamid today and um, and other sessions as well. So uh, I'm sure you've met Abdul Hamid already. So he's also on the call. So yeah, I mean, that's great. So thank you all for joining. And thank you for the song recommendation, Abu Bakr. I'm looking forward for another one for tomorrow as well so yeah so, okay i think martin yep you can speak up martin uh, i want to ask a question now huh? uh we did uh there's a challenge we did on I, I think on linkedin in the career session on uh like job search and then where we, we were we were told how to use uh linkedin to search for jobs and then, so I, I, I keep getting notifications from like different companies that are looking like that have like slots for, let me say junior data engineers, because I chose data engineering as my, as my track. And I keep seeing a lot of companies that have, let me say, um, former students from 10 Academy who are working in those kind of companies. So in, does it like, um, is there a benefit to apply to companies that have, let me say, people that were 10 academies before maybe in different cohorts, but are currently working for those companies? Does it like give you, is it good to apply for companies like that? Uh, that's my question. Okay, so I mean, my answer would be definitely yes, because uh, you know, the people that are working there, you know, the people on uh, the recruiters, I would say, already know that people who are from 10 Academy are reliable. So, I mean, it's a plus for you if you apply to those companies. So, yes, definitely. Uh, if they have open positions, you can definitely uh, apply and also like engage with the recruiters as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. How do you, how do I engage with a recruiter? How do I know the recruiter? How do I, like, how do I engage with one of them? And I know. Yeah, so, I mean, you can get the recruiter's uh, LinkedIn address on their, on, on like on the company's uh, LinkedIn. You know, you, you can search the people who are working there and you can see the people who are like HR or recruiters uh, in that specific company. And also you can go to their website and uh, they definitely have, you know, the, their pro the profile section, you know, the team, the team's uh, section. So yeah, you can definitely uh, get their details from there as well. And yeah, I mean, I think it's, if the company doesn't have a website, I mean, that's 
uh, that's less likely to happen. Um, if not, yeah, I think LinkedIn would work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So, yeah. Um, I think we have another question from Beitai Lehim. Uh, if possible, to give us feedback on the company study sooner. Um, yes, okay. Um, if you have, I mean, if you have any questions or if you are, if you need like feedbacks from the team or like a quick review, please like don't hesitate to uh, to text on your like specific uh, careers channel. Uh, I'm sure like we we will try to reply, you know, as soon as possible. So yeah, please don't hesitate to ask anything. And um, yeah, I think that's all. We can wrap up this session. And thank you guys for joining and also make sure to join tomorrow as well. So yeah, have a good day and thank you guys.